right, guys. Economic Ninja here. Got some interesting uh, ideas of what's coming in the economy. Sorry, I'm closing up doors. Things are happening so fast. Breakneck speed. This is what we're here for. Lockdown. Low con don't even know how to <laughs> read that word, but I know what it means. Lockdown. Low condolutionis <laughs> launches. Jeezo, that's a lot of L's. All right, I'm not even going to try its tongue twister. Here's the deal, guys. We're heading for another lockdown, it looks like. Uh, we knew this was going to happen in the spring because the government actually issued a, an initial report during all of this. Uh, as George Gam would say, as the uh, Cerveza sickness hit, um, we knew that there was going to be a lockdown economically in the economy in the spring and again in the fall. Uh, I thought it would already happen by now, but it looks like things are starting to ramp up and we might see that you know all of a sudden in the news we're starting to see cases blowing up um wall street uh had a big drop today over 900 points in the dow i want to say like three and a half percent down um and pretty much this just sums it up you know it's and it's gone <laughs> pretty easy right so it says that uh it seems like with all the talk about lockdowns has finally triggered has finally triggered more than a few snowflakes as today's price action had the feel of widespread liquidation with stocks, bonds, commodities, and crypto. All being dumped as safe haven assets flowed sent the dollar soaring. Man, is that going to be the uh, trade of the century, though, when that turns around. But yeah, right now, everything's flooding into dollars because right now that's our liquidity. That's where we find our safety. Um, we dive into dollars hoping that things are going to go down more, and then we rebuy with those dollars the lower-priced assets. Uh, although we're seeing in the crypto realm, uh, we're moving into different kinds of assets for safe havens. So the dollar is definitely losing its steam. Um, you know, it's interesting because today th th this this article, and I'm going to link it uh, in the in below, but, you know, it talks about the statistics of the SP going down and when they went like a time weighted average. But, um, you know, I want to show you it wasn't just this story, but like this story is an interesting one, too. A lot of hoarding. Americans race to uh, supermarkets as second wave arrives. Now, I've talked a little bit lately about how to prepare. And, you know, it was one thing when I was talking to people about it last year or three years ago. Now it's a whole different game. But uh, probably some of the questions that would be on some of your minds, well, what do I do today, right? Uh, the price of lots of things are going up pretty fast. And they're going to keep going up. We are going to see massive inflation in this country. Now, what I talk about is not investment advice. I'm not an investment professional. I'm just telling you what I have learned over the last 10 years of in studying economic history when it relates to currency or monetary policy with central banks and governments. Um, you can't just make print this much money like we have in the last six months and expect to have no inflation, okay? Especially because the United States has exported its inflation since uh, World War II through the Bretton Woods Act um, or the Bretton Woods Standard and we've exported that inflation away because we've sold dollars so that other countries could buy oil and they could only buy oil by law with the US dollar so we're technically able to uh, export our inflation away until now because countries are now getting away from the dollar they don't like the dollar they want a different standard and that's why the IMF's calling for a new Bretton Woods it's a nice way of saying we're leaving the dollar we want a uh, real commodity backed currencies and we want a basket of currencies not just the US dollar not just the yuan or the yen or the pound so um so this is I want to give you guys some real life advice this is what I would do right now if you don't own any s silver go and buy an ounce of silver I mean silver has actually dropped because of this liquidation event I mean, shoot, silver was in the 28, it was pushing $29, I believe, in the summer, and it's down to like high 21s. Go buy yourself an ounce of silver. If you don't have $25, if you tell me you don't have $25, you got issues. I don't I don't care if, if you work at McDonald's part-time, you can afford $25, okay? We just got to get that out of our heads. Stop thinking like a poor person. We got to start thinking like we can do things, and I don't mean to be like a jerk, but I hear so many excuses every day, and we got to get out of excuses, okay? Buy yourself an ounce of silver. If for anything, the educational uh, uh, purposes of buying that ounce and reading up on it will be tremendous value to you. Secondly, yes, you should have some extra food. 
you know, our country is a uh, a demand kind of country where uh, we don't buy things unless we need it in the next week or so. When I went up to Alaska a few years back, everybody were preppers because that's how it worked because the storms roll in. And you can't just walk down to Walmart and go buy what you want for tomorrow's meal. So you did stock up for a few weeks, possibly a couple months in advance. Get back to that. That's how our society used to be run back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and way before that. Because we didn't have the conveniences that we have now. But those conveniences are about to be taken away. Like in my town, the local Staples is out of business. Office Max went out a few years ago. Um, we're having lots of large stores. Our JC Pennies is closed. It sounds funny, but it's not very easy to just go if I wanted to go down and buy a pair of board shorts. I don't have very many options now. I have less stores in town, so now i got to rely on the mail system. It's just getting more difficult. So when it comes to food and things that you need, just think ahead. That's literally that it. Think ahead. And remember, as you think ahead, the farther you can see back into history means the farther you get to see into the future because I don't care about all the little limericks or all the things they say. History doesn't always repeat itself, but it often rhymes. It actually does repeat itself. It just seems like it's rhyming because it comes in a different form, right? We're talking about currencies one day, either being paper. Now we're talking about digital. Now, you know, it was digital. Now we're talking about cryptos. Totally different things. Digital and cryptocurrency is totally different. And they're way different than paper. Anyway, I'm going to link these below. I just wanted to say that little bit. Um, I do believe we're heading into another lockdown for sure. If not a lockdown, we're going to have some craziness. Uh, no matter who wins. Um over the next uh, few months. And so, yeah, guys, let's get ready. Let's be ready together. Have a great night. Talk to you later.